done, and then maybe you can make that assumption that I'm gonna do. No, it's gonna be great. Imagine if I was the last one up here and didn't remember a fucking thing. Oh. How crazy would that be, right? Eating babies. Oh, fuck. You work up. You're gonna give away the punchline, cat. We get it. I got you. Hold back. on now. I got your back. So anyways, I'm Stephanie Curran. You might know me from seeing Almost Famous that was sold out a few months ago. Um, I just want to make a formal apology that if, if you did go, you'd watch me take a shit on stage and like, I, you know, I, I'm sorry I had to go through that. I, had, I was there with you. Um, and if you didn't see it, where the fuck were you? You missed out, man. Jesus. It was great, though. Gotta say. So Chris has asked me for like a fucking year to do this. And I finally was like, yeah, whatever. What, what else do I have to lose? I fucking took a dump on the LSPU Hall stage, so I might as well fucking be at the Fat Cat. So I thought of things, I thought of things that make me genuinely want to be like, hmm, who the fuck did that? And then I thought about 90s toys. Like any toy made in the 90s, right? So I have a few, uh, a few interesting tidbits about 90s toys, okay? So just imagine with me, we're in a boardroom. And you know, you have your fucking executives and whatever. And this one guy, and for some reason I picture toy makers like this, but he's like Steve and he's like, uh, but excuse me, I have, a, I have an idea. And everyone's like, hey Steve, fucking hurry and just tell us. And he's like, wow, well, well, um, well, what about like skateboards, but for your fingers? <laughs> and someone in that room said, genius! And they patented it. But not only that, people, not only that, it's now a fucking sport. <laughs> You can compete in tech deck competitions. And then just I just imagine these guys like and like they're 14 and honestly I can't even say anything about them because they're fucking deadly. But they're like going to the gym and they put on their band and they're like, alright, let's go. <laughs> Whew, swole day. Like And not only that, but these these tech decks, I'm not joking, during a famous rehearsal at a at a, like a lunch time, we watched some competition videos. These tech decks cost thousands. Thousands. These kids are 14. Thousands of dollars. The wheels alone cost $400 if you compete. Do you know what $400 can buy you? At least 150 copies of Shrek 2, and I swear to God, way more valuable than a goddamn set of wheels, okay? Sidebar, if you think Shrek 2 is lesser than Shrek 1, you can literally leave out the door over the door. Uh, and that's not a topic I'll talk about because I will be here for 45 minutes. <laughs> so tech decks, right? That's crazy. Then you have Cabbage Patch Kids. And I'll be real with you, I had four, and I brought them, like I fucking clipped them in the back of the seat in a seatbelt. I was like, come on, we're going to the park! And put their seatbelt on. And for some reason it was okay, but th this, this person who created Cabbage Patch Kids not only did they make them smell fucking wicked, nah. like you take it out of the box, you're like, this kid is going places. <laughs> but someone had to be like, kids born with vegetables underground. <laughs> and again, someone was like, genius, million dollar idea. Because to me, that kind of sounds like cannibalism. <laughs> and you're teaching it to children? <laughs> but they smell so good, so you're okay with it? Like, when I was a kid, I opened the box and I was just like, I smelled it and I was like, do I eat this? Is, it, is this, is this a, do I, do I eat? Anyways, I didn't, so, so, congrats. Congratulations on myself. Then you have my favorite toy. This is iconic. Fucking Beanie Babies, okay? Who, no, who had more than 200 Beanie Babies? Honest to God, so myself and my friend David were in the car the other day and we were talking about, you know, Beanie Babies and stuff. And now, let me just start by saying Beanie Babies are literally a fucking piece of cloth with PVC pellets in it and a stupid dumbass face and maybe a soccer ball, like, sewn onto your heart because you love soccer, so you get the soccer Beanie Baby, which makes so much sense. <laughs> so we looked up values for Beanie Babies. And I'm not shitting you when they're... There is a Beanie Baby worth $500,000! A Beanie Baby! And I just, like, if you get in your closet right now, you could probably, like, in just, like, a fucking box full of Beanie Babies, you'd probably have over $1,000. Is no one else so shocked? And then, it's just, like, imagine, imagine if Beanie Babies 
were used as currency. Okay, follow here. Used as currency. So instead of money, yeah, fuck Bitcoin. Ha! Bitcoin got nothing on me, babies. Let me just tell you. Swear to God. So you're fucking, you're, you and your friend going out, you're going to buy a house. You're going to buy a house. And you're on the way to buy a house. And you're just going. And this realtor who like fucking loves Beanie Babies, like who doesn't? And she's like a collector, right? And she's just, you know, oh, hi in there. This is your house. And you go to take your checkbook, but your friend's like, nah, dude. Hold on. And you produce this $500,000 Beanie Baby. And the realtor's just like, oh, where'd you get that? I've never seen one of those before. I need it. And then you swap a Beanie Baby for a house. <laughs> You may laugh, but that could fucking happen. Okay, it's not a joke. This is real life. You could buy a house with the money you made from a beanie baby. I, honestly. And then I thought, like, if you replace currency with beanie babies, imagine how nice the world would be. Like, you just love it. Like, if you fucking, rest in peace, Donald Trump, you saw him on the cover of a fucking magazine and on a stack of money, you'd be like, Ugh, oh, Donald Trump, that nasty little man. But if you see him on a cover of Beanie Babies, you just be like, ooh, Donald Trump, that nasty little man. Oh my god, Beanie Babies! Uh, that's so cute! And for a second, you forget that the world is literally in danger. But that's it. Anyways, that's all I gotta say about Beanie Babies. Thank you for listening.